Welcome to Once Upon a Crime, stories from the underbelly of faraway land where not every story has a happily ever after. Tonight, scandal, crime, gossip and the weather. I'm Pippa. And I'm Elsa. Our first story. Who is afraid of the big bad wolf? The famous villain is huffing and puffing after being arrested today. Accused by three little pigs of deliberately breathing heavily on the houses until they fell down. A lawyer for Mr Wolf claims hay fever is to roam and that his client is a victim of negative media hype. Here's our reporter Evie with more. Thank you Pippa. I'm here in the faraway jail with the big bad wolf. Mr Wolf, you have been charged with the destruction of houses. How do you feel about these accusations? It was my twin brother Barry. Blame him, not me. He was the one who blew down the houses. And also, he, he ate up my friends, Bill, Barry and Billy. You have been caught impersonating both a grandmother and a sheep. Who is the big bad wolf, really? Barry. Duh. Not me. I'm innocent. What do you have to say for the good people of the faraway kingdom who think you're nothing more than just a dangerous criminal? That's what Barry is. Blame, he Barry, blame Barry, not me. It's him. And if you're watching this, Barry, I will find you and I will get you when you least expect it. Thank you for those thoughts, Mr. Wolf. Good luck with the trial and back to the studio. Now for the news of the escaped kidnapped heroes, Hansel and Gretel. Their story captured the hearts of the nation and caused a media frenzy last year. They have spoken out for the first time about their ordeal in their new book, Blackbirds Ate Up Breadcrumbs, The Hansel and Gretel Story. Our reporter Alice was at the Our reporter Alice was at the books released that in the deep dark forest, the scene of their terrible tale. Hello, I'm Alice and here with me are Hansel and Gretel. You're obviously very rich now after finding all those jewels in the old witch's house. How do you sp plan on spending all that money? I'm going to buy a really really big house. A pile of Starbucks to the moon and one McLaren. Just one. I'm definitely going to buy a couple thousand Gucci bags and um, just a small pile of Starbucks. Not too many calories. Hansel, you're in back in great shape after being fattened up for eating. How did you do it? Well, I was tortured by bears, they're very dangerous, pack of them, and they feed me sticks, which aren't very healthy, and I got really small, but now I'm big, because I ate Starbucks. Um, yeah, I just got tortured, I had an encounter with a lady with a red coat, she had an axe, went for my ankles, preference for um, future ankle guards, and I just got injured, and then I was small. So yeah. What did you learn from this experience? I learnt not to go into the woods and ankle guards, like I said, and if you see someone with a red coat, dart the other way. Don't go into the woods with Hansel. I blame him for everything. Everything. Thank you for your time. Good luck with your ongoing recovery. Back to you in the studio. Finally, there's a w wicked whisper in the woods that all is not well with the marriage of a celebrity couple, Beauty and the Beast. After failed plans to start a fashion line and poor sales on the albums of duets, sources are saying that happily ever after might not last much longer. We go. Hello, I'm Alice, and thanks, Pepper. And here with me, a Beauty and the Beast. Now, yours was a classic love story where two opposites fell in love against the odds. How's it all going with you two? First things first, did we clarify that you woke me up from my beauty sleep? Yeah, beauty, beauty sleep for a stupid interview. And also, it's going bad. Very, very bad. For once, she's right. So, you're something of a beauty, beauty, and you're a total beast, beast. What is the reality of living with someone who's completely different from you? It's terrible. He can't even make coffee and he snores like a chainsaw. You know what? This interview is a complete waste of my time. Unlike Starbucks, which is where I'm going now. Come back. The interview's not finished yet. Fine. Your recent duet album did not sell well and your fashion neighbour has gone bust. What next for you two lovebirds? A, a divorce. divorce. Our album hasn't turned out because he can't sing. I only have one pair of clean clothes in my wardrobe because our wardrobe is so stuffed with beauty's fashion. 
<sighs> if you do get a divorce, what's next? He better go work at Starbucks so he can learn to make real coffee. Best, is Starbucks really a true destiny? Heck no, I'm applying for therapy. Even that might not fix the trauma I've been through. Okay, thank you for your time, Beauty and the Beast. I wish you all the best for the future. Back to you in the studio. <laughs> Thanks, Alice. Now it's time for the faraway land weather update with Olivia and Annabelle. Who will have the fairest weather of them all this week? Well, it'll be a mix of fair and foul in the faraway kingdom this week. In the north, there will be gumdrops, lollipops and rainbows for everybody. The sun will shine and birds will sing off your shoulders until Tuesday. The deep dark frost will be deep and dark all week, with occasional sunny spells and some witchy spells. Moving down the lane, green fields will be turned snow white overnight. Better wrap up warm if you're living in a house made of sticks, straw or gingerbread, because it will be fee five five freezing. Finally, trolls will be living under bridges in the west and you might want to find a bing stalk to climb on Friday because heavy rains will lead to flooding. Otherwise, it's a happy end to the working week for most of us. Back to the news desk. Thanks Olivia and Annabelle. That's all for tonight. Although we have just had the word that the big bad wolf has escaped jail since our interview. He's hungry, angry and he's on the prowl. Keep your doors locked, stay safe from the whole team at Once Upon a Crime. Good night. Good night.